because I'm a chocolate girl. Because if you want new, you got to get rid of the old and make room for the new. Exhausted. I was so exhausted, y'all. I had a long day. What's up y'all welcome back to another video it is wednesday january 10th it is 4 53 p.m i just got off work and we about to get into a little nighttime routine this is something that i've started doing the beginning of the year since i started my fast for those who don't know i am on a 21 day fast with my church and it's from fasting from 6 a.m to 6 p.m water fast only i mean you can drink coffee tea or whatever you choose to do within your fast but me personally i am doing water only and we got one more hour yeah we got one more hour but anywho like i said i just got off work and kind of was being into my routine i just trying to get into a habit of what i've been doing is i will start my morning off with a little bible study and then with the devotion from the bible app and then i will kind of you know kind of end my day since the fast, I've been getting off work. If I haven't been going to work I've, to my other job, I've been getting off work and I've been doing the verse of the day that pastor sends out for every day of the fast. So, and then we just kind of kind of get in, kind of just get into the rest of the night. But the fast, um, this is day eight, y'all. Just let y'all know this is day eight. We're going strong, We're going a little strong. And the verse of the day, what I'm going to get ready and study is. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. So we're going to go ahead and just get off into that. And pretty much by the time I'm done, it'll be almost time for me to eat because it's 4.55. And we're just going to get off into this nighttime routine. I have a few things that I need to get done today, y'all. So welcome to another vloggy vlog. If you are new, make sure you all hit the subscribe button. If you are not, thanks for coming back. And let's just jump off into the video.
with my Bible study. It is a little bit after six o'clock and I'm about to make me one of my little meals, my little dinners. I've been getting these little chicken, quino, quino. You know what? Let me go Google it really quick because I don't want to keep saying this wrong because I eat it all the time. Okay, y'all. So I was all the way wrong. I know y'all was probably watching this time. Some girl, it's so wrong. It's quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> Chicken quinoa. Okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> But I have a Mediterranean style chicken quinoa, quinoa bowl. And that one have white, no, brown rice, spinach, red bell peppers, and sun dried tomatoes. And then I have the Southwestern, what was it? Oh, uh, Mediterranean, and this is the Southwestern bowl. This one has white, uh, not white rice. It keeps saying, I want to say white, but it's saying with. It has brown rice. Sweet potatoes, black beans, corn, and bell peppers. This is the one I'm finna eat. It looks like this. And well, this one have an extra gram of protein. This says 17, this has 16. I've been working out. And I worked out this morning and I ate a full breakfast, but we'll get into that in a minute. But I think I wanna go with the uh, South Rest, and only because I just really have a taste for the sweet potatoes. these earlier this week or it could have been like Sunday or something I don't know what day it was could have been Monday no it wasn't Monday I don't know when it was but I just I had one it could have been last week I think honestly but this is how it's looking Woo. it don't really look too appealing but I promise you it's really good but yeah oh, it's just, just look at it I was gonna say, now where the sauce at now? Like the last time I ate this, it was a little, um, it was a lot more red. <laughs> there we go. And I do just add just a little bit of salt in it. <clears throat> Not too, too much, so. And that was too much. Like I said, once you start mixing this up, it really does not look too appealing. As you all can see, it pretty much looks like dog food probably. But I mean, it's really good. Like I said, this one here. Oh, this is 16 grams of protein. Half a cup of vegetables. 51 grams of, uh, I was going to say protein. 51 grams of whole grain. I guess that's the quinoa. <laughs> that's the um, grain. But yeah. Hi, protein. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to eat this and see what I can catch on TV really quick and then we're gonna go ahead and get through with the rest of this night. Because I have an early, it's six o'clock y'all. I need to be in the bed by at least, I'm gonna say 8.30, 9 o'clock because I get up so early. And the past two nights I've been working out at home because it's been freezing waking up. And it's just, I just don't like going to the gym getting up when it's like 20 something degrees in the morning. I just really don't. So I think I may go tomorrow and then plus we had snow and stuff coming in. Then we have a new storm that's coming in this weekend as well. But but yeah, yeah, we have to we have to do we have an early night tonight. sure if I'm gonna fold all this up tonight I'm not gonna lie because I really don't feel like it I honestly really don't feel like it y'all it's seven o'clock it's a little bit after seven and y'all know I started winding down like literally as soon as after I eat I started winding down about seven thirty eight o'clock I'm tired and I'll be literally dozing off and I'll wake up around like 10 
light stuff still on, earrings still on, bonnet ain't on, and that's when I get myself situated. So, but we're gonna get try to put a little bit of this stuff up, y'all. I don't know. Okay, like it's a little bit time later, uh, not too much time later, but um, I did not put the clothes up, y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did not put them close up. I'm tired. I actually started editing this video. Just lay down, relax, and chill it. Hmm. I'm tired. Um, watching TV. It's 8.47, and I'm about to get ready and go ahead and wash this makeup off my face, y'all. But before we do that, do y'all see? I've been a little oily. I think it was probably, probably the lighting, because I don't look as oily right here. I don't look as oily right here. So, do y'all see the face? Let me, let me just zoom in. The way I ain't gotta keep coming up. There we go. Yes, yeah, makeup looks good, right? The makeup looks good. So yeah, I pretty much know my whole issue with the makeup. And I keep telling y'all my makeup's been too dark and this is and this. I've been looking real orange. Well, the reason your girl been looking orange is because my makeup is too dark. And I kept telling y'all, I kept telling y'all, telling y'all. It's too dark, it's too dark, it's too dark. You know, in the winter time, and I thought I was one to don't, you know really change colors from the summer to the winter because I just I don't know y'all I don't know but yes I kept telling y'all this one right here is too dark it's too dark it's too dark y'all know this is the one I be wearing I normally will wear this all year round all year round but I guess my, I don't know if my skin is just changing I don't know what it is but pretty much she's too dark for me she's too dark and the thing is I love this makeup so what I'm gonna have to go what I'm going to have to do is go why is it so loose Go find a shade lighter and then we're going to kind of go with that. And then also you all know I went and got um, checked or whatever. Color checked or whatever you want to call it. With the Lancome. I told you this a while ago too. This is actually really good too. But to me I feel as if it's just a little too bright for me. Because I just, y'all know I just like the makeup it matches me. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. This right here actually looks really good. And this right here is the Anastasia. This is the one that I've been that I started back using. So this is the only one that the girl finna start using. Like I just I can't keep using this. And even when I mix this, I have to actually even sometimes when I mix it, it still just it turns me orange. And it just still it's not right. If we just look at the colors, and I think we just did this, y'all. But y'all know my issue with my makeup. Yeah, I just going to have to you know, bear with me now. Bear with me now because, y'all, we've been trying to figure this out for over a year now. But I think I finally got it. But if you just look at the colors, as you can see, this one is darker. This one is bright. And this one is just right. I don't know if you all can tell from the lighting. It's making these two look the same. Is it making it look the same? You can tell it's a little bit darker. I don't, I don't know. But, anywho, we're using the Anastasia. This one here foundation and you all know I actually vlogged it when I went and got it so got that figured out and then also for my concealer now I've been using the Tarte I've been using the Tarte for the longest um the short of the Tarte shape tape in the color deep now I've been using this one for the longest I honestly don't see anything wrong with it but I said I just I'm not really seeing it I'm not really seeing it, so I'm like, okay, girl, I need to go a little bit lighter. Because if everything is freaking dark, then there's no going to be no type of highlight nowhere. So, I have this one. This is the F16 Hour Camo Concealer in the color Deep Olive. Now, looks a little bright. And look at this one, y'all. These two right here my new best friends these are my new best friends and i feel so proud of myself because it only took me about two years two and a half years because we was doing this back when i was at the townhouse too because when i was at the the first place when i started vlogging the condo i was just literally getting into makeup and then the townhouse you know i was wearing it i just really couldn't get my color right i just i was not looking right we kept on getting this and even the fancy the fancy is in the closet i'm not going to get that but yeah, y'all, we finally found our shade. And I don't even think I told you about my shade in this one. The Anastasia Luminous Foundation in the color 500C. For those who know my color. Because I'm a chocolate girl. And I don't know why I be thinking that I just want... I just don't want to look bright. 
that be my whole thing yeah i just i do not want to look bright i don't want to look like extra like i just i don't like that i just like a really natural look so we found it and the makeup sitting pretty because i did my makeup at seven o'clock this morning yeah seven o'clock <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take this off and get situated This here, which I am running really low. Not much left in here. But like I was saying, y'all, it's 522. And I normally, I would have stopped my workout a little bit sooner. But since I'm not fixing a, a whole breakfast this morning, I don't have to do that because, you know, I have to eat before 6. So, I don't have any meat left. So, we're just going to do a protein shake or something. I don't know. Let me see. I'm actually tripping, y'all. Because I do have sausage. I didn't know that. Late. Had I known I had all this, I would have actually cooked earlier and ended my workout soon. Anyway, as soon as I finished my workout, I should I would have been able to eat. But instead of putting it in the air fryer, we're just gonna put it on the stove. Cook a little bit faster. Oh, I can't believe this. I 
hate rushing and I need all the protein I can get since I'm working out. And I got that long stretch in between before I can eat again. So we gotta get all the protein that we can. All right, I wasn't planning on fixing a whole breakfast, but we had the food. So I have two pieces of turkey sausage, two eggs and cinnamon bread toasted with cream cheese and then I have my protein shake. Okay, so right now I'm just oiling my scalp. I'm just oiling my scalp y'all with oil, literally. I'm gonna tell y'all what I've been using on my hair too. Cause it's like a mixture of things. I don't really have all of it like right now where I'm at. So, but I'm just oiling my scalp. And it's honestly, I think my hair been up maybe four weeks, going on four weeks this weekend. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's time for something new. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I've been looking at old pictures of my um curly hair, and I miss my curly hair. Yeah, I know that's my signature, but I'm just trying to just give my hair a break and just literally put all of it up. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is a little bit after seven. It's seven twelve, and I started putting up my laundry and everything, and I realized I have so I have a lot of old stuff, like, and I have really. I've been revamping my wardrobe, just getting rid of stuff, and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm kind of getting rid of a little bit later. Everything's in the basement. It's been like that, I think, since New Year's. I was supposed to have took it to the Goodwill before the year it was pretty much over, but that didn't happen. But I just have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to take to the Goodwill. Oh, my hair feels so much better now. Yeah, I have so much stuff that I need to take to the Goodwill and stuff. I'm steady getting rid of stuff, but we're gonna go through all that. But as you all can see, I've started folding my clothes and everything up. But yeah, like I said, I started folding these clothes up and everything, y'all. And I'm just looking at certain things. Like, there's nothing wrong with the clothes that I have. It's just the clothes that I have is very old. I've been having this stuff for years. And when I say some of this stuff, I've been had for five plus years. I just, I just, this little outfit here. I only wear this during the, um winter time like during the holiday season and all this is literally gonna go right back downstairs like all of this stuff here along with uh, along with my holiday pajamas all this wood outside but i think it's just time to get rid of that because i've had that outfit because me and jabriel wore that one christmas if i can find that picture i will put it right here and matter of fact i think that was 2017 y'all six years <laughs> One on seven years, I didn't have that. So that's what I mean. It's just, there's nothing wrong with the things that I have. It's just certain things. It's just, it's just time to get rid of. And that's just where I am in my life right now. It's just, I'm just tired of holding on to certain things. And it's just, it's time to let go. Because if you want new, you got to get rid of the old and make room for the new. Anytime, just anytime where you're trying to better yourself and you just, you just want more. It's just, you have to let go of the old and that's just like you know what guys say you got to put off that old you got to put off that old die to self and it's just all of that everything is really taught and i've been learning in the bible you just you get so many different revelations from things and it's just everything can apply anything that's in the bible it just applies to us anywhere in our lifestyle and i'm just i'm realizing that but it's definitely just time to just get new i've been getting a lot of new things I've been getting so many new things. I've just been trying to just redo my wardrobe. Like, I'm going to be 35. And like I said, I'm just grateful for the youth and how I'm, you know, just aging gracefully. The wisdom and everything that God has given me. And I feel good, you know, with the gray and all. But it's still like, I just want to mature. Mature in every aspect of my life. Mentally and physically. And like I said, everything does start on the inside. Which starts to reflect on the outside. So, that's where I'm at. And life and everything like i said so much has changed already just mentally and like a lot of it is starting to show and reflect outward but i'm in an amazing place i'm in an amazing place 
and I am done. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this laundry and everything up. It is 7.20. Gonna get myself together. I had even put Zuri in the shower this morning, y'all, because I didn't put her in last night. Because she was up early. So I'm like, okay. I can go ahead and put her in. You know, let her pores get time enough to close. So I'm gonna go ahead and get situated. And I'll probably talk to y'all a little bit later. Probably a little bit later, like this afternoon. Because I got a few things that I need to take care of at work. Sleeping up for real. <laughs> we came to the match house for Zuri school. I didn't bring my camera because I really wasn't planning on vlogging like that. Last time I had so I vlogged so much last time I will actually link that video right here. But she's enjoying herself, y'all. It's not as many people here this time because it is a little distance from the house and as well it's like cold outside and it's dark, you know, it gets dark early, so there's not as many people. But she's enjoying herself. Got Tootie with me, and Jabril is at work, so we're gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of this evening so I can go home and eat. Cause the girl is starving, my hair look a mess. Like I had a long day, y'all. I had a really long day. It is Friday, January 12th, and I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video right here. Last night was so much fun, y'all. Um, Zuri, she enjoyed herself. Tootie enjoyed herself, y'all. We came back, and when I tell y'all, I was so exhausted. I was so exhausted, y'all. I had a long day. I had a, an extremely long day. I had so much that I was doing. I didn't get any break yesterday at work, and y'all, it was crazy. I didn't even think that I was going to make it to be able to take her to the magic house, but we made it. They enjoyed themselves. They had a good time, y'all. And we're just going to leave it at that, y'all. But like I said, it's Friday. The girls have a half day today. I need to run to the grocery store this morning and get ready for this storm because we don't have anything in here to eat. You know, it's pretty much maybe in here all weekend. I'm not exactly sure. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go to the gym tomorrow either because of how the weather is going to be. It's supposed to come in from noon to 5 rain leading over to snow so i don't know exactly what this weather and everything's gonna look right look like i don't even know if i'm going to be going in to work tonight but yeah yeah we're just gonna close out this video here if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to give your girl a thumbs up comment and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video applying i've been trying to get my weight up stay in prayer meditating and taking time away